Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Command & Conquer General Zero Hour. Continuing with our AI-only tournament. We just finished up the Global Liberation Army, the GLA. If you're not familiar with all the acronyms, I'm going to click the wrong button here a couple of times. <laughs> oh, man. All right, GLA is done and done. There were some pretty fierce matches, a lot of back and forth, interesting stuff. A bit of an upset, but really happy with the result. Now we're moving on to China. China Infantry versus China Nuke. Um, you can kind of tell by the names exactly what their forte is, but let's just get right to it. $10,000 starting cash, starting positions all set. I'm going to sign into the match. I'm going to surrender. That way we're thrown into an observer mode, which is perfect for commentary. A warrior has fallen. Okay, power plant right off the bat. Oh, barracks, actually. Barracks and power plant right off the bat. Come on, get out of here. Things are going to be ramping up a little slower as China. Uh, China has to pay $1,000 for their workers, known as dozers, whereas the workers for GLA are a lot, lot cheaper. Two barracks, okay. We got the infantry general, general in the upper right, nuke general in the lower left. Not seeing a supply center up yet. There we go. Supply center, I believe, requires a power plant. And base defenses require the barracks. So, yep, first Gatling Tower getting spun up by the Nuke General. Lots of Red Guard infantry already. This guy already having a hard time with life. This guy also... Oh, okay. Thought I saw him running in place for a second there. Uh, occupying some structures right off the bat. We haven't seen any occupation of structures in the GLA fights, I don't believe. But we're already seeing a progression right for the middle. Red Guard infantry are the default infantry for China. The infantry general is going to have a bit of an edge in this regard. Uh, I don't think I see... Yes, I do. Okay, so there was the infantry promotion there for the Red Guards. Um, Nuke General is going to take this incredibly easily. No contest. Okay, Infantry General now coming in. I wonder if it's going to be a recapture or they're just going to destroy it. They're not going to be able to deal enough damage to stop the capture. Yep, yeah, capture successful. Infantry General is just now attacking, <laughs> attacking the, the reinforcement pad. Uh, as you can see, their infantry is significantly more effective at damage destruction or building and destruction rather than the Toxin General. Man, just poor, poor planning on this part. Infantry General could have easily taken out the other Red Guards and captured it for himself, but whatever. <laughs> Nuke General making a run for the upper left, trying to see if we can get those oils wrapped up nicely. Let's take a quick look at the base. Uh, already an Air Force and MiGs coming out of the Nuke General. Not super surprising. Same thing, Air Base, War Factory. Uh, Infantry General a little more defensive. Yeah, Nuke General's already doing MiG runs. MiGs can be incredibly powerful vehicles, or aircraft, I should say. But, but, big disclaimer, incredibly fragile. Looks like Nuke General is going to be able to keep the reinforcement pad. Nuke Battlemasters have a nuclear... <laughs> as you can see right there, nuclear chain reaction. They act like bomb trucks. But they also have nuclear tipped shells. Yep, okay, we're going to see a lot of MiG back and forth, it looks like. That is going to finish off the reinforcement pad. This is a nice uh, deviation, I suppose, from the prior matches we saw with GLA, because now we'll actually see aircraft in play. Nuke General taking all the oils he possibly can. Already captured two there. Infantry General actually capping up his oils as well, so that's good to see.
really easy defensive situation for the infantry general. Lots of unit loss there. Will the MIG make it? MIG is going to make it home to his family. Look at that. Already an expansion here for the infantry general. What do we got here? Looks like they're going for the other oils for nuke. Well played there. Take a quick check at the base real, real quick like. Not seeing a propaganda center yet. Not seeing uh, anything else. Two war factories. That's pretty standard. That looks like a propaganda center to me. And it absolutely is. Let's check the infantry general first. Or er, next. Helix. Okay. That's an interesting take. I'm still seeing only one war factory. Which makes sense for infantry. Uh, my real question is. How soon will the nuke general rush their super weapons? The MiGs are out on patrol. Now, one more thing that makes the Infantry General a real powerhouse is their basic infantry are actually... They're not Red Guards, they're Mini Gunners. And their Mini Gunners can actually attack the air. So I misspoke a little bit before. So that's going to make... If, if Nuclear General is going to push really heavy on the MiGs, that's going to make for interesting... Interesting conversation. No one, no one wants to just gun that guy down? Nobody? Just, just going to miss him with missiles. Okay. Interesting. Troop Crawler comes with eight. Comes with a, a, a squad. A squad plus of minigunners. I think it's eight minigunners straight up as well. Um, I know they come with eight Red Guard. Oh, Nuke General looks like going to give a good push here. Yeah. MiGs can be great, but you got to be really careful with them. Seeing a real bad conga line instance here. Every single time one of these these nuclear battle masters goes up, yeah, they're gonna be damaging each other and everything. Yeah, that's that hoof. That was a bit of a much there. No defense is being built on that expansion, nor here for the nuclear general. What's the plan, buddy? You gonna go cap that oil? Man, he had the heart of a tiger, but the firepower of a mouse. Lots of infantry swarming the field here. Reinforcements got dropped, oh my god, in the worst spot ever. Two Gatling Towers, a Helix, oh, Inferno Cannons coming on the field. Inferno Cannons, the Chinese artillery. Uh, aside from the Nuke Cannon, which is their advanced artillery. But Inferno Cannons and MiGs can do something called a Firestorm. If there's enough units that attack the same target, it'll actually be like this vortex of flame and destruction. It's a beautiful sight. But requires a little bit a little bit of planning to get it done and done right. So, Nuclear General with six oils. Infantry with two. That's not too bad of an offset. Uh, the thing that really bugs me is when... One player has six, and the other player has none. Okay, that was an interesting little fight there. That aircraft was unable to drop its payload. I'm going to assume that was going to be a carpet bomb. Hard to tell, though. Our over Oh, Overlord's hitting the field. Nice! The ultra-heavy tank of the China, China faction. Yeah, there's so much rocket here. It's not even going to matter. Yep. All that fire does a little friendly fire. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult for the nuclear general to make this work, I think. Some nuclear cannons would really clear out a lot of this infantry. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I mean. The MiGs can just get shredded without recompense. Is that Gatling Tower going to survive? I think it is. Yep, it survives. Get a dozer up there. It's like nothing ever happened. Counterattack with MiGs. Now, the Nuclear General can employ nuclear MiGs, which li literally gives them a small nuclear payload, which is amazing. But we're going to need to see a nuclear weapons facility before we see that, I believe. Speaker towers, nuke cannons, that's good to see. 
Good to see that out of Nuke. Yeah, this is going to be a rinse. They still are unable to defeat this Gatling Tower that has, like, no health on it. Interesting. Quick upset here when it comes to resources. Uh, Infantry General is able to capture off some of those oils. Yeah, if you can use your MiGs to one-off a unit that's on its own, that's where it excels. And they finally get that Gatling Tower at the loss of two MiGs. Ah, what a waste. What an absolute waste. Let's take a quick look. No propaganda center as of yet for infantry. What I'm expecting out of the Nuke General... That's another supply depot. Cool, cool. What I'm expecting out of the Nuke General is going to be two nuclear weapons. Uh, from what I understand, I think there's only two generals that'll build multiple super weapons. It's the Nuclear General for China. And it's the Super Weapon General for the United States. Bit of a push here. Yep, these Inferno Cannons are going to do great against the Bunkers. They'll be able to outrange easily, but... This guy's leading with the Infernos. That makes it no good, and there's no air defense. That's going to be free damage for this Helix. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a quick wash. Yep, not quite enough. Not quite enough. Oh, is Nuke actually going to give a push? Like, this is a good, this is a good target. Nope, it was psych. It was just using the waypoint. Oh, it's attacking again. It, what? What is happening? <laughs> this is so hard to commentate. Two, four, six trucks? In this layout, two trucks is appropriate. Is this cached? Yeah, but there's three trucks here, too. Wow. Uh, pro tip. The way in which you want to make your supply depot or supply center work better is you build it close, but not right on top of the supply uh, dock. Uh, you have a little bit of a space, and then you cram your supply trucks right in between. So your supply trucks don't even have to move. But this is the first time we've seen a concentrated effort against an expansion. So that's important. I'm seeing a lot of artillery on the field for Nuke. And not a lot of ways to combat that artillery. Oh, that guy got shredded. Yeah, things are looking very pro-nuclear right now. Uh, <laughs> you know, if they could keep any air force in the sky whatsoever, but that's a lot of money. Let's take a quick economic check. 24k for the nuke, 15k for the infantry general. We're probably going to see a lot of the same upgrades being researched. The AI doesn't really deviate too much in that regard. Yep, not quite. Let's take a quick uh, building check here. More power. Uh, I don't see a nuclear facility. Yes, I do. Right there. One nuke is coming online. 50% uh, already done. Infantry just starting to get their propaganda center up and ready. You need the propaganda center before you can build a nuclear facility, so the nuke general is actually going to have a pretty mighty lead from a super weapon perspective, and that might be the tip. That might be what tips the whole thing. Oh, the Frenzy ability. Okay, didn't think we'd see that. Yep, first nuke is online for the Nuclear General. A lot greater of a deviation in gameplay between these two factions. Infantry General being incredibly defensive, lots of bunkers, lots of infantry. Nuclear General... I'm not seeing a ton of what I would call defenses. Yeah, a little bit here, a little bit here, but not like a, a, a crescent. Not like a crescent of defense. So that's interesting because these players I can identify are doing two different things. Another nuke, 40% complete. That means the nuclear general is going to have two super weapons before the infantry general has any. That is dire straits. Infantry General is going to really have to push. 
But I'm honestly not seeing a lot of vehicles for the infantry general. Some aircraft, sure, but I'm not seeing, like, Battlemasters or Gatling tanks or anything. Granted, infantry is the strong suit, but the thing is, this is incredibly one-sided right here. Artillery barrage, yep, good call. Knock out some defenses. Yeah, those nuclear cannons are going to be devastating. Oh, we got nuclear MiGs. I, that was weird. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that little tiff. That was weird. Okay, it looks like a rebuild up here for the infantry general, trying to recapture that supply. Um, looks like there was a bit of a scuffle here as well. Uh, that was actually deleted out. So that's two oils completely out of the game. Infantry General really is going to have to pull something crazy out of their hat. No sneak attacks like we saw for GLA. Okay. Uh, mine plane. ECM generator right there. Oh, an EMP got dropped. Now, there we go. That's something I haven't been able to show off before, but the EMP bomb actually completely shuts down any aircraft. Kills it. Kills it outright. Is that a nuke? Wow. First nuke for the infantry general starting to get built. At least the foundation is there. Yeah. I stand by what I said. Nuke general is going to get two fires. Before... Where the hell did that missile go? <laughs> is going to get two fires before infantry general is going to have a chance. Yeah, this is feeling incredibly heavy on the nuke. Yeah, that nuclear... Pa yeah, space program right there. That guy's gone. I wonder if he'll come down eventually. Oh. Yep, there he went. <laughs> there he is right there. <laughs> oh, blasted into oblivion. Oh, man. Oh, I see. It's another rocket that's following the body. <laughs> oh, the new mantra of the MiG commanders is, I will send you to heaven before I cast you into hell. Because they fly so high and then splat. I wish I was any good at modding video games because I would add a noise for when the units fall back. Yep. It was just gone. I would add, like, a splat noise after they come back to Earth. I think that'd be funny. Okay, Infantry General did get his nuke system online. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough power to back it up. That means that timer in the upper right, if you can see right there, is not ticking. There's not enough juice to get this to work. Yeah, those nuclear MiGs are bread and butter forces for nuclear China. Not seeing any of the tank upgrades. Looks like Nuke is going to give another push to mess up Infantry General's expansion. AI just not building fresh power plants. This is a little disheartening for them. Are they out of money? Are they just straight... No, they have 30,000 almost monies. Oh, never mind. No, they have no money. Whoops, I clicked the wrong, clicked the wrong guy. Yep. This is gonna be this is gonna be it for Nuke General. Unless he's got something to answer for the MIGs. And something to answer for this. Why? Why are you just walking? What shoot that guy. He has two hit points left. I can't even see the bar. There you go. Yeah, Gatling tanks and dragon tanks are gonna be the absolute bane of the infantry general's existence. Lots of infantry. Oh, look at that. Starting to see some hackers. Okay, cool. Haven't noticed any hackers. Yeah, yeah Internet Center. Okay. That is the mid-game economy or late-game economy for China. Uh, in my opinion, China is the most fragile of economies in the game. They require a crazy investment into the hackers. The hackers are just infantry that can be easily sniped. 
it's really dangerous. Whereas uh, United States and GLA have structures that produce the money. Okay, first nuke. Looks like infantry was able to get back online. I'm gonna guess right. Yep, it takes out the airport, so no more MiGs. That leaves a ton of radiation, which is absolutely gonna screw with the infantry. Yep. Uh, second nuke, I would go right here. Just spread the wealth, take out some tech infrastructure, um, or even right here, or another good shot would be any of these power plants that are really close together. There, there, yeah. For sure. Artillery barrage. Two artillery barrages. One from each side. You can see the big pile of color. You can't see it on the map. So, like, right here is where I'm at. I can't see it. But it's absolutely there. Let's check infantry first. Internet center. Good shot. Uh, some loose infantry. Also not a bad shot. Nuclear missile ready for the nuke general. Wonder what he's waiting on. Yeah, lots of nuke cannons. That's gonna cause holy hell to everything that's going on here. Yep, that's more power that's offline. Was that going to be an infantry drop? What a weird location for that. Honestly, if it were me, dump it up here, start recapping oils, try to get your money back online. Yeah, the, the infantry general has no answer for these nuke, nuke cannons unless they move any of these infantry. Now you can kind of tell where the nuke is going to drop because you can hear the siren. If you've got good headphones, you can kind of move into where you can hear it. It doesn't give you enough time to, like, sell your structures or move troops. But, yeah. The, the sell animation takes way, way too long. You're just not going to do anything? Yeah, you're just not going to do anything. Cool. Gatling tanks for the win- oh god. Uh, that one MiG, that one MiG pilot for the win. Yeah, there's too much here. It's impossible to handle. This is, this is a real... I wouldn't say it was terribly one-sided, but for the infantry general to prevail, far better tactics are required, and dude just EMP'd his own units. Cool. That's funny. Uh, infantry are immune to EMP. Okay. Friendly fire. Still hilarious. Wow, lost two battle masters there where he didn't have to lose either of them. Yep, this is over. This was over... Eight minutes ago? Yeah, dragon tanks with the black napalm upgrade deals quite a bit of damage. Okay. Once this war factory is demolished, that should be the end of this matchup. Interesting battle. I wasn't honestly sure how this was going to pan out. I think I I think I called Nuke to win. Nuke and Super Weapon are still the two picks I have for the rest of this tournament. Um the final matches? The final final? I don't know, maybe Super? I'm not too sure yet. But if I had to guess, I would say that's it. That's a sellout. Inventory is retiring. We have been defeated. Good game, good match. Not enough from the infantry general. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Sizable amount of money. Lots of units destroyed. Yeah. This is what you'll see more with Infantry General because there's a lot of units on the field. Especially if you have units that create more units. So, for example, the Troop Crawler comes with troops. So if you're taking a look at this and it's like, well, I only made 382 units. Why did I lose 450? Because you're creating the Troop Crawler 
it doesn't count the infantry inside. So that's why that's a thing. But yeah, well done to the nuke general. Let's go ahead and switch positions and do it again. Okay. Nuke in the upper right, infantry in the lo lower left. Let's have at. Oh, and I'm the tank general. Interesting. It's like it knew. I haven't been, uh, I don't think I've been in America yet. Unit lost. Yep. Okay, pretty standard, a slow build-up. Again, we're not going to see such quick deployment as we did for the GLA factions. Uh, GLA could just crank out workers. I think they're $200 a piece or something. Like, they're not $1,000 a piece. So you crank out five or six of them. You send them across the map, realistically. Like, send one here, send one here, move one back here, two up here for tunnel network defense if you want. But you can really... Divide and Conquer is GLA. That's really the GLA strength. Here for China, and the same thing we'll see with the United States, we're going to see a much slower build-up in that regard. It's going to be these dozers that are very expensive pieces of machinery. Losing a dozer is critical, because it's $1,000 first of all, and second of all, it really limits your building capability. Okay. Pretty standard rush for the middle here. Infantry... No! I take it back. Infantry is really about garrisoning these defenses and bunkering down. I'm not really too sure what the appeal is, but... I bet you any money Nuke General is going to come down here, swipe the reinforcement pad, and then it's going to be a whole nother kettle of... If I can't have it, no one can have it. Ba-bam! And then it just goes away. Which is a real waste, because this thing can crank out battle masters. Those things are not cheap. They're like, what, 800 a pop or something? Like, they're they're expensive pieces of machinery. And that's free money. Okay, infantry getting more assaulty this time. No one wants it? What's... What is happening here? Okay. Nuke General doubling back. Infantry General... Oh, gosh, gotta get that hut out of the way. Oh. The hut was in the way of the Gatling Tower. No one... No one wants this? <laughs> Infantry General, come on. Get, get. There you go. There's the buddy. Yeah, the first, like, three or four minutes of the battle really is about this center bit. I'm gonna actually shut my window real quick, because someone's mowing the lawn outside, so BRB. Alright, sorry about that. Looks like uh, there's a big acre of land near where I live, and it looks like they're using a combine harvester to mow their own personal lawn. So that's pro they probably got the harvester from a friend or something, but they're using a big effing traffic or er, uh, tractor thing. Anyway, quick capture, quick destroy. That was an easy reversal of fortune. Pretty done deal there. Uh, I'm sure we're going to start seeing infantry scattered across the map trying to capture up some resources. Indeed we do. MiG's already on the field. Infantry general trying to get some push. Nuke general with Gatling tanks. Makes perfect sense. Ooh, some dragon tanks. Spicy, spicy, spicy. And they won't do anything. Oh, that's disheartening. <laughs> Infantry General doing a really good combination work here. Ground and air forces. That Dragon Tank was also fairly useless. Uh, Dragon Tanks really excel with the flame wall capability. Do a quick economic check here. Two oils capped. I don't know what's happening there nothing there nothing there so right now it looks like infantry general is in the lead in terms of oil yep that's a lot of free damage right there 
It's good work with the MIGs. Not a lot of pushing quite yet. A little bit here and there. Propaganda Center already for the Nuke General. Really wants those Nuke MIGs. I wouldn't expect to see a Propaganda Center out of infantry for quite some time. We also have the expansions already captured. Right here and here. Yep. So things are moving nicely for both teams. Ste uh, I was going to call them stealth. Infantry General able to take the second derrick here and kick nuclear out. And now this guy's going to capture it again. Okay. Lots of MIG action on the field. Already nuclear MIGs, really? All those MIGs are dead. The aircraft does a lot of flyby, which I feel is incredibly unnecessary a lot of the time. I'm not sure why it just... Stuff just passes over and it's like, you could have just bombed the target and come back home. You would have been alive, but nope. Uh, Nuke General with a little under $500. Infantry with about 1000 That's more the money I would expect these guys to be at. Not sitting on 30, 40, 50,000. It would have been a lot faster to just capture this thing and sell it. But what do I know about stuff? Uh, do we have the nuke upgrade? Not yet. We do need that nuclear facility, I think. I can't remember if it comes out of the nuclear weapons facility or the propaganda center. Yeah, I'm not jumping to every little battle because most of them are MIGs and most of it's just going to end incredibly quickly. All those infantry could have taken out that quad, or Gatling. Man, but all they did was retreat. What a waste. What a waste. Okay, that was a mine drop here from that C-130. So I think that's a C-130. I'm not too sure what that is. Probably the China equivalent of a C-130. Okay, quick tech check. Let's see where everyone's at. Defenses, Propaganda Center at 40%. Propaganda Center's done. Internet Center up and online. I saw a hacker. No nukes yet. No nuclear weapons yet. Yep. Another lost... Another lost supply center. Oh. Artillery barrage. Heard that. Also see an aircraft here. Most likely an EMP. No! Infantry drop! What a terrible location for that. Artillery. Banged up a few things, didn't really get a lot done there. Infantry really trying to get a push on here. Yeah, those new cannons are going to shut down infantry almost every time. And there went that. And there went that. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much back and forth. I don't really know who's going to win at this juncture. Internet center up and ready. Uh, infantry is now building their internet center and another supply center. Okay. No nukes. The fact that infantry is taking so long to get to the late game economy really has me worried. Quite honestly. Because if you take a look, there's going to be little pops of $5 here and there. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's good stuff over time. Complete waste of Inferno Cannons. Didn't even take out infantry. Black Lotus? Did not stand a chance. Black Lotus is the hero of China. Uh, expert hacker. 
She can disable vehicles, she can hack a building, and she can steal cash. So she is she becomes a quite valuable asset, but she's got to be used right. She's a scalpel. You got to use that tool very carefully. You can't just throw a scalpel all of the day. Right here would have been a much better attack vector because there's no detection. Right here. Come in here, steal the airport, sell it off immediately. Yeah, this is this is such a bad matchup. We're seeing the same three Gatling configuration right here. No big crescent of defense like we've seen before. Um, also, kind of same thing this round here as well. I'm not seeing a ton of defenses. Back when the infantry general was in the upper right, we saw a ton of bunkers. Like, a lot of bunkers. Okay, what's this MIG up to? No? Okay. Mines, I'm sure. Yep. Mines, for sure. At this stage of the game, the infantry general really needs to leverage artillery. Really needs to start breaking the shell of the nuke general, or all these infantry attacks mean nothing. Put two Gatling towers next to get- yeah, this is already dead. Uh... Infantry General, still trying to keep relevance, though, is going to have six oils in very short order. Already has the upper left and the lower left. That was interesting. Another Black Lotus attempt. She's just going to get absolutely rinsed. So EMP this area first, or cop carpet bomb it first, then move Black Lotus in. That's how that works. But she's just going to get rushed in and immediately got... Yep. Okay, big, big, big push from the infantry general. I wonder how this is going to pan out. I pretty much know because the Gatlings, like I already said, they're already dead. But still, that's a lot of units. Yep, it's already over. Oof. 15k for nuke. 27k for infantry. That's a lot of money they're just sitting on. Nuclear general trying to reposition. Retake some territory. I'm amazed I'm not seeing any nukes. If the infantry general gets a nuclear facility before the nuke general, that's going to be very interesting. And that's exactly what's happening. 22% right there. Nothing at all for the nuke general. Plenty of money. Throw down two nukes right now. Get ahead of that super weapon game. These are going to be infantry drops. Let's see where this pans out. Probably right on the front line again. What a terrible spot. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> There's enough radiation and everything there. Just makes very, very easy work. Enough AoE. Just mops it up. Infantry cannot keep doing the exact same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result. It's just not going to happen. Okay. Plenty of vehicle buildup here. I'd really like to see the new general get its ass out there and do some work. Uh, nuclear facility, supply center... Okay, Nuke General's finally starting to come around on some of these things. Yeah, it looks like they're just running over the infantry. Ooh, a lot of friendly fire right there. Oh, oof. Oof. So much wasted hardware. Ouch. Oof. That was painful. That was genuinely painful to watch. Uh, Newt General still has not captured their two oils. That sucks. <laughs> sucks for them. First nuclear weapon for the Newt General coming online. 
If it were me, double down on some nukes, get two more nukes online, get some power plants online. Oh, you're out of money. That could probably be an issue. Infantry general with a ton of cash, successful EMP drop. Gonna give it a little bit of an annoyance there, shut everything down for a minute or two. Oh my gosh, and nuclear generals offline. This is a perfect opportunity for the infantry general if they weren't absolute crap with commanding their stuff. ECM tank. Has the ability to disable enemy vehicles and enemy structures. Or just vehicles. I think just vehicles. I think it's, oh, it's the microwave tank from the United States that can disable structures. Guys, out of here. I'm hoping to see nuclear MIGs for the Nuke General and really some push. Because <laughs> there is a disadvantage right now. Yep, okay, there is the Nuke upgrade. Oh, they hear captures? What do we hear? Black Lotus? Black Lotus got her mitts on in here. Yeah, during the outage. Oh, wow. I wish I saw it with my own eyes, but that was perfectly timed. Yeah, now's the time for stealthy shenanigans. Yeah, I almost think the nuke general is toast. What is all this? Is no one unloading? <laughs> Nuke General just cannot stay online and absolutely needs to to be relevant in this match. Could always almost make a sound uh song out of that. I'm starting to wonder if the winner is literally just whoever has the oils. And the AI is just going to be so stupidly bad and badly stupid that it's going to mismanage all of its units. But whoever has really the most cash <laughs> allows it to perform more terrible code more quickly or something. Really large infantry attack. Completely wasted again. Uh, EMP oh, infantry again. Right on top of a minefield. Unfortunate for them. Oof. Lives lost. That was a Black Lotus. Good attempt from the Nuke General, but didn't even make it to half field. Alright, let's do a quick tech check here. I think this China is going to have every it has everything it, it needs. We're not going to see a whole lot of expansion. We're not going to see a second base. We're not going to see any of that out of the Infantry General. New General, how are we doing here? Uh, finally back online. Uh, no War Factory? Yeah, War Factory right there. Uh, their hackers are starting to veteranize. That's a mind drop, I'm sure. Weird placement, but okay. Yeah, Nuke MiG's really starting to come into their own. Yeah, it's, it's insta-death for any light unit and any infantry... It's Cracker Jack stuff, for sure. Yeah, all this is going to be rendered null and void with a couple of MiG strikes. Artillery barrage, and I'm going to guess that was an EMP, but it did not connect. Yeah, got a lot of work done. Another assault here from the Infantry General over to the Nuke General's expansion. Uh, unfortunate for the infantry general, the new general's actually prepared this time. Oh, okay, our first super? Probably, like, right here. Yup. Oof. Brilliant shot. That completely shut down any aerial superiority the nuke, nuke had. I do see a very, very heavy... ...barrage. Okay, not bad. Not bad. 
Could have been better. I would have honestly hit the airport. Man, if China had cash bounty, this would be a done deal for the nuke general because all this infantry just getting thrown in, all this money that's literally getting wasted. Let's do a quick check on cash. Some money coming in, 35,000. This, this feels, from an economic perspective, this feels like a very strong infantry win. I think what's going to decide this battle is how the nukes are landed. Because the thing is, we've seen this over and over and over again. Infantry General builds this exact same battle composition, throws it into the Nuke General's face. Nuke General's like, I don't care. I have guns, and I have a lot of them. And that's kind of it. I'm trying to keep an eye on this Black Lotus. Uh, the heroes are hard to see because they don't show up on the minimap. Uh, even if I click this, I'm sure... Nothing. Nothing, yeah. Uh, but that was a Nuke General Black Lotus, and I use was very literally because she is no more. Wow. What the hell was that? Did you see that little friendly fire shenaniganry? That's hilarious. What do you got here? Probably an EMP. Probably a dead plane. Well, as I mentioned before, consolidation would be a really powerful thing for the AI to have any capability of. Sell all the supply depots that are doing nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Losing my voice. Sell supply depots that are doing nothing, sell some excess power, maybe even the war factory, and really double down on getting your economy moving again. Another infantry strike from the infantry general is going to, again, do nothing. Yeah, that dragon tank right there is really going to... Oh. All right. Okay, they did some damage. I'll give them that. Some damage was dealt. Landmines placed on top of an airport that doesn't matter. Okay, waiting to see this nuke fire. A nuclear missile has been launched. Yep, called it. Not bad shot. Got some hackers, got the propaganda center. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Plenty of radiation for days, gonna at least bing up some units. Uh, also, one nuke cannot take out a fully healed internet center. So that's an important point to note. You can get close, but it won't finish it off with one shot. Yep, those MIGs are off the chain. A second nuke for Nuke General would turn the tide. I think the Infantry General just has nothing it can possibly do. I think I think the way the AI is handling the capabilities of this General, there's just no, there's nothing. Every single time they're attacking, they're losing just to these three Gatling turrets. That means you need artillery. You need something to bust a hole in the armor. That or chuck an EMP before your like seconds before your assault. Or your artillery barrage is free damage. It's just completely free damage. You can get a lot of work done with that. That's how I would play this out. But I'm not the one playing. Or I would flip my table so hard I might create a black hole. Yeah, kind of the same thing here. It doesn't matter if you're building expensive units. If you're getting here and not doing anything about this... You know, this is a problem, too, for the nuke general. What? Can you not run over infantry? Okay. Well, that kind of solves some problems, I guess. Everything tapped out here, yep. 
Uh, nuclear general still retrieving a bunch of materials. Yeah, that if that internet center goes, Nuke General is done. How are we looking on cash? Meager offerings. 42,000. <laughs> 42,000 for the infantry general. That's insane. Okay, artillery barrage from Nuke. This is most likely going to be an EMP from infantry. And it connected. Uh, artillery barrage went where? Okay. Yeah, taking out the command center wouldn't be a bad call either, because that stops the barrages, the infantry reinforcements, the EMP, a bunch of stuff. That wouldn't be a bad plan either. Oh, also frenzy, which we've we've seen a few times. Oof. And they're all dead. Yep, I think this is over for the nuke general. The only income he has right now is this, and this is not much. What is it, 300 a pop? Something? Oop. Just, what are these guys even doing? Yeah, now's the time either double down on nukes or something heavy or and or economy. Sell, 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 sell. <laughs> sell the war factory. You don't need it anymore. It's not cutting any mustard. Yeah, you need some proper stuff. Again, interesting spot to dump a ton of infantry right where the guns are at. Right where the high-velocity pew-pews are sitting. Yeah, honestly, I would completely abandon any hope of any amount of vehicle production at this point. Get a bunker, get two more quad cannons, get a bunch of hackers, see where that takes you. A hacker. <laughs> A little bit of back and forth here and there. Wow, Infantry General built a Gatling Tower, and that's it. That's probably the biggest jerk move we've seen so far. That's actually pretty stupid brilliant. Unless this nuke is going to change the paradigm of the match, I think this is pretty much over. Infantry General for the win. Ten seconds. I, I can't imagine a good spot for it. Um, take out the command center, probably. Maybe right here. That should hopefully flatline the command center. Some production. That might help the most, I think. Going after power plants and stuff doesn't make any sense because the enemy has more than enough money to rebuild any and all of that. But this would be a lasting effect because that would mean the nuke general is the only one with any commander powers left. This one Gatling Tower has triple veteranized over and over and over again, and it's going to fall right now. Yep, with the fall of that, I think that's the end of the nuke general. Yeah, getting those oils early is so critical, and still, right here, two untapped oils. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Oh, did that get repaired? Oh, the command center got repaired anyway. Yeah. So, my whole theory I had there of taking down the command center kind of fell apart. This game... Th this game, you can't just go and do a little damage over time. If you're gonna commit, you gotta really commit to an attack, to a defense, to a whatever. Um... Especially with it with it being larger and heavier structures like the super weapons, like the nuclear missile, or the command center, or whatever. Those are heavier structures, and it only takes, what, 20 seconds or so for a worker or a dozer to get back in there and just repair the structure. And then it's like nothing ever happened, you know? It doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Yeah, this is it for Nuke. Absolutely. And I see some infantry reinforcements on the way. I see a Nuke barrage on the field. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of a scuff up damage here. Yeah. If you could time all of your weapons, all of your general powers to be timed correctly at the same time, that's when you should really light up a heavier structure. Uh, Nuke General is absolutely offline. There's no coming back now. Uh, I don't think Nuclear General has any economy. Oh, this one guy cranking out $10 bills. What you got on your computer there, buddy? Oh, the green screen of death. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Uh, EMP from infantry. <laughs> and the nuke is back online, but... Yeah, here's, here's a bit of a testament with how long the nuclear general has last. Units destroyed 856. 856. That's a lot of units. Nuke's been hanging on for a very long time. All we need is a tidal wave of infantry, and that's going to wrap this up. It's so weird that the AI just kind of becomes inert. Like, I don't know, 20 minutes into the match? 25 minutes into the match? Like, he's got the money. Just get the work done, man. But we're relying on this one unit. Will he take out the advanced nuclear reactor? Oh, man, it's a battle of the ages right here. Who's going to win? Place your bets. Place your bets. Uh, no. I don't, I don't think so. I hear a black lotus somewhere. Yup. <laughs> They can see the mines. They can see it. See that grid? They can see that there are mines there. And no, he didn't take out the nuclear power plant. Sad. Where did the Black Lotus go? He said, I guess there was a Black Lotus here. I heard the noise for a Black Lotus. Here we go. More actual anti-structure reinforcements. After the destruction of some of these production structures, this is going to be just game over. And we should expect to sell out fairly soon after. Oh, the beautiful glow. Really honestly felt the nuclear general would be the far more capable of the generals given the AI's capacity. But we didn't see any oil capture. The expansion was kind of weak. 
to start off with, and there just wasn't enough going for the nuke general. And infantry has 50k in the bank stashed up. Yeah, this is over. The sellout should be imminent. Yep, there it is. So you can see real quick, I'll jump in between a couple structures. When they sell out, everything sells out. Congratulations to the infantry general on that one. Have been defeated. Uh, we're going to do the next match, the tiebreaker. I'm just going to take a five-minute break, so I'm just going to pause the recording. I need to get up and stretch. I need more coffee like crazy. But again, oils, massive disparity of income. Again, nuclear general, tons of kills, 787. That's a lot of that's a lot of murder getting on. But yeah, we'll just take a two-second break here. It'll be just it'll be literally seconds for you, and I'll be right back. All right. A uh, quick reversal. Nuke General is going to be in the bottom left, infantry in the upper right. Let's get this party started. General Granger. And Pink to boot. Inside joke there. Whenever I played uh, Generals with some of my friends way back when in the day, I'd always go a random color. You have been defeated. And like 70% of the time, I would be pink. <laughs> I don't have anything against pink, it's just not my color. I just... whatever. Some people like pink, some people like red, some people really like cyan. Eh. I don't know. Barracks and power plant coming online for both factions. Not a lot of interesting variation here. Same thing, two barracks for the infantry general. And now we're just waiting for that power plant, and then comes a supply for nuke. And then defenses immediately for the Nuke General and Infantry General. Uh, looks like we already got our rush for the center. No, I could have sworn I saw some... Yeah, I did. Saw some Red Guards. What are you guys doing? Same glitchy little nonsense here. Yeah, this is the tiebreaker match for China. And whoever wins this is going to go up against the Tank General. And then we'll move on to the United States armies. And then after that, it's going to be the best of the best. The United States' finest versus China's finest. And then the winner of that is going to go up against GLA's finest. So, really already a quick occupation here from the Nuke General. Infantry already in the upper right, just occupying... Occupying structures. Playing very heavy turtley, which isn't terrible. Uh, last match, Infantry General was pretty stout about capturing up oils and everything. Yep, same, pretty much same copy-paste as the first match. Nuclear General's gonna capture this. Infantry's not gonna be able to get here fast enough to make it work. Yep, easy cap. I don't know what some of these guys are doing. If they actually, if they got into one of these uh, huts, they could use it as a bunker and they would easily be able to thwart off the Chinese infantry general. Uh, looks like no one cares. Okay. Interesting. Already an airport. War factory going up for infantry. Let's take a quick gander at nuke. Already a war factory, already an airport. Two war factories. Okay, really getting the moving on here. Uh, a couple of nuclear battle masters entered the field. Let's see if they can save this reinforcement pad. They actually can. MIGs to boot. Yeah, that self-destruction nuclear bomb thing that happens with nuclear battle masters can be thwarted with a propaganda center upgrade called isotope stabilization. It prevents them from going nuclear after the tank is destroyed. Me, personally, I don't use that upgrade whenever I play Nuclear General. I actually like to use my Battlemasters as bombs. As, like, makeshift bomb trucks. They work out pretty well because they're quite heavily armored, they're tanks. And with the speed upgrade that the Nuke General can get, they move pretty quick. And there it goes. Reinforcement pad is down. Would have loved to have seen that stick around for a while, but not going to happen. Two oils, three oils, and a fourth captured up by the Nuke General. 
Stealth General capping their two oils. Awesome. Okay. That's what provides for a much more robust match, is ensuring that there's enough money to go around. This aircraft is in guard mode. Total miss. A hit. MiGs are fighter craft. But they miss their targets so much. It makes it incredibly frustrating to watch. Uh, the Raptors... I feel the King Raptors especially are a better mix for aerial dogfighting. But whatever. Oh, that'll change quickly when it comes to nuke MiGs. Yep, that's what you do with MiGs. Just nickel and dime your opponent. Left and right, make sure you can kind of wean them down a bit. Uh, looks like we've already got, yeah, Nuke General is starting to cause a little bit of a fight here. Yeah, the MiGs don't stand a chance against Gatling, Gatling anything, really. That bunk, that one bunker is going to net so many kills, it's going to be ridiculous. A little bit of a scuffle here. Uh, expansion's already being taken, as mentioned. Uh, oh, looks like Nuke General's going for the extra oils. I think I see a rebel on the way. Yep, not a rebel, a uh, minigunner. Gosh, having this... <laughs> I'm doing all this tournament in, like, a day. So, you'll see at the very end, this is going to be at least eight hours, nine hours worth of content I'm going to rack out in a single day. Maybe two days, but uh, it's a holiday right now, or at least, uh, yeah, public holiday right now. So I'm able to just sit down, not have to work, not be interrupted. I can get a lot of this done. Honestly, would love to do more Twitch streaming, but the problem is it's really difficult for me to maintain a consistent schedule. MIG's coming in, getting a little bit of damage, and then completely getting annihilated on the way in. Oof. Rough stuff. Rough stuff. Propaganda center for nuke. That's normal. Uh, we're not going to see a propaganda center for infantry for a while. Also normal. Bases are looking good. Bit of an assault here, maybe, from infantry, but backing off. Can't really make up its mind. Yeah, the mini gutters can absolutely shred aircraft. Amazed one made it out alive. And infantry drop down here. Yeah, got pretty rinsed pretty fast. Did I see nukes? Nope. Must have been a Battlemaster exploding. You see how peppy these units are? Like, they are speedy. Or maybe I'm misthinking, maybe it's a tank general that gets all the nice upgrades for their vehicles. Yeah, this is... That's a mess. That's an absolute mess. Right now, the nuke general has six oil derricks. Stel uh, <laughs> I was going to say stealth general. Infantry general has two. Yeah, like I said, bit of a mix-up here. This one... Red Guard is going to take out this supply depot, or this supply center. That is going to be hilarious. That is a dead MiG. Yep. You got to be really careful, especially keeping aircraft in guard mode. Because what can really happen is they can easily be outranged because their guard area isn't as far as like an Avenger or something. So you got to be careful even putting some stuff in guard mode. Uh, Internet Center for Infantry General. I think... Nope. Nuke General already got their internet center up. Yeah, just... I think MiGs are $1,200 a pop. Like, that's a lot of coin. Literally just throwing away with bad control and bad management. This guy's almost got it beat. One truck, run him over. End of story. First artillery barrage coming from the Nuclear General.
Uh, hitting nothing. Hitting, hitting these infantry, I'm sure, was the target, but yeah, it just didn't connect. Honestly, artillery barrages are best for stationary targets, aka structures or supply centers, power plants, airports, stuff like that, or airfields. Overlord on the field, good to see. A lot of little hit-miss infantry coming in. Uh, literally three or four of the Gatling tanks would clean a lot of that out. Starting to get some hackers into the facility. We got a hacker parked outside. There's plenty of room inside of the internet center, I can already tell. Based on how slowly that money is trickling in. Image of general using the MIGs pretty well. Ooh, got a little got a little butt tap there. Still made it home. Still made it home. Okay, some nuclear cannons coming out of Nuke General. I'm not seeing any real vehicle control here. One ECM tank. Not really much else past that. Black Lotus on the field. Gonna have to keep an eye on her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. friendly fire, ouch. Oh, fire burn, fire burn bad. All right, where is that Black Lotus? She immediately got gibbed, got detected, end of her story. I like the heroes. I like to see the AI do more with the heroes. Lots of nuclear cannons coming in for the nuke general. That's a solid play for sure. Uh, I'm going to guess this was a mine drop and not... Yeah, okay. We haven't seen any nuclear general carpet bombs, have we? Uh, this is going to be devastating for infantry general. If infantry general's not going to take out these new cannons. We already saw one get got by the MiG. Yeah, new cannons have very, very little armor. Very little armor. Still seeing a little bit more movement around the battlefield. Let's do a quick tech check. Nuclear silo going up 33% complete. No nuclear weapon. Oh, nuclear weapon 50% complete. Infantry General's going to get that off sooner. Interesting. Uh, Nuke General definitely had enough of the shenanigans up here. Trying to do something about the expansion. Trying to hit a moving target is not going to work, especially with how fast that vehicle's moving. Oh, wow. Okay. Must have been a bit of a delay on that turn. Warning. Nuclear missile silo detected. Yep. Infantry General's going to come online first. You guys not firing? There we go. Yep. New General uncontested on a lot of this combat. Nuke Weapon just came up for the Nuclear General. Not far behind. Second Nuke going online. Coming up, getting built. Almost 20% on that. I just heard an Artillery Barrage coming from the Infantry General and an Aircraft to boot. Um, EMP or first or second level... Maybe first level infantry reinforcements. Doesn't have enough to cut the mustard, but that artillery barrage is somewhere around here, isn't it? Yep. Nope. Yep, right there. 
I lost track of it. I was too busy checking out the plane. The artillery units have a glitch. And the nuclear cannon is probably the biggest culprit of this glitch I'm about to talk about. Uh, okay, there's a second for the nuke. Holy crap. Activated frenzy, that all went nuts. Um, if you take a look at the nuke cannons, what can happen is it can look like they're moving, undeploy, then redeploy, allowing them to get a shot off instantaneously without having to go through the full deployment animation. It's almost like it's not deployed, boom, it's deployed, boom, it's not deployed, boom, it's deployed, and then it can just fire. Instead of taking the three seconds or whatever to fully deploy with the animation. It's all instantaneous and it's all weird. I still can't figure out how to replicate it or what causes it. But it sometimes happens. Another thing that can happen is if it's attacking a target... That target's destroyed, and then the next target is just a little out of range. The nuclear cannon might just scoot. Even though it's supposed to undeploy, move, redeploy. That kind of a thing. So, interesting little glitches. I've noticed them, especially with the new cannon. that has a very high deployment animation. Nuke General has a lot of battle control right now with those nuke MiGs. Right? They're nukes now? They are nukes now. Okay. There's just so many explosions from the nuclear battle masters and the nuke cannons. I'm having a hard time keeping track of what's causing what explosion. Uh, Infantry General really is going to have to pull some real power here in order for this to work. Otherwise, I think Nuclear General is going to have this one. The two nuke is a really strong leverage thing. You can't take out a nuke. You can't take out a super weapon with another super weapon. You need a little more harump. So two super weapons can take out a super weapon. Um, if you're talking, like any faction has like either a carpet bomb or an artillery barrage or something that can just add a little more damage to the mix. That's what you need to finish the deal. That ECM tank is just running for its life and it's gonna run right into the iron dragon <laughs> what? 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 Why? Why was that part of your go to 10 line? Oh my gosh. Alright, whatever. Not my problem. Uh, another neat thing about the nukes is that is clearing a lot of the mines out of the way that the infantry general gets for free. Uh, landmines come standard with a bunker. For Infantry General, I believe. Uh, and that's really a nice... A nice bump up. I think the mines are like 500 monies a piece. Or something. So it works out pretty darn well. That was incredible, yeah. Huh. Yeah, it had a little bump there, and then, then it fell apart. But, yeah, what, what we've got here is a lot of battlefield control. Amazing. Black Lotus in. No detection on this side. And now she's stealthed again. Yeah, she's not going to be able to pull that off again. Yeah, there's too much stuff. Black Lotus is incredibly powerful as a hero. But, like I said before, have to treat her like a scalpel. It's a She's a precision, precision combatant. Can't just throw her in and be like, yeah, it'll work. It's a hero. Whatever. Gotta be real careful about things. More new cannons coming from the south. Would love to see some Gatling tanks complement that uh, battalion. But not seen anything. Eight seconds until the next nuke. Infantry general. Lots of infantry. A lot of stuff's gonna die <laughs> when they get nuked. Well, let's see if the infantry general can pull some magic out of their hat. Stupid. 
stupid amounts of damage there. All friendly fire. All avoidable. All avoidable. Wow. A little bit of spacing or whatever would have made that work. Okay. Good shot for infantry. Uh, Kind of a weak shot for nuke. Got some infantry out of the deal. But the airport would have been a better choice. This defensive line would have been a better choice. But the nukes will usually propagate around the command center. Unless you're building multiple bases. That's kind of the rule of thumb on that. Infantry trying to give a good push here. It's not going to be enough for sure. But not a terrible attempt. Second nuke general's nuke is ready. And also an artillery barrage is mid-flight. Let's see if we can guess. I'm going to guess right here for that. Huh. Interesting choice. But again, second nuke. Anytime now. Yeah, rebuilding the airport, rebuilding the propaganda center. What was the battle plan here, buddy? That's rude as hell. <laughs> EMP, most likely. It connects. Yep, now would be the perfect time to assault. Um, To me, it really feels like the artificial intelligence of this game is very single-threaded. And I'm not saying like how the CPU processes the game. But the AI itself is very single-threaded. It is not smart enough to do double attacks. Oh, that's going to be ripe no matter where it is. Really good shot. Yep. Crippled some technology. Added a ton of nuclear fallout. That worked out great. Uh, what do I mean by, like, double attack and single threat? Like, the EMP uh, attack that we just saw crippling the base defenses would have been a perfect thing to time literally seconds before an attack. Um, what's, what's a good... What's a good example of what I'm talking about? Oh, Red Alert 2 is a really good example. One of the things that's commonly used in there is an Iron Curtain, which gives your vehicles invulnerability. What the AI will do is they'll take all their units, move them to outside your base, cast Iron Curtain, and then attack. That's what I mean by using the tools correctly in order to make a much better effect. So the sum of all the parts are greater than each part individually, right? So by doing it that way, they're maximizing their Iron Curtain time. They're getting the maximum amount of damage because they're immutable. They can't be damaged. They can't be hurt. Nothing can change about them. And they can deal all the damage they want. Uh, same thing with Frenzy here. This is another problem. They frenzied a bunch of units and did nothing. They weren't attacking. They weren't, they weren't even defending or in combat. They were just in the base, and they got frenzied. Uh, frenzy increases attack uh, attack speed. Attack speed and damage, I believe. No attacking, just... <laughs> that was the rudest thing I've ever seen. None of the vehicles were even paying attention to it. The only way they killed it was because the Overlord literally ran it over. Oh, that's a pl that's the play of the game right there. To be so arrogant and not paying attention just to have that all happen. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm going to guess that was a landmine drop, and it totally was. Oh, that was funny. That made me chuckle really good. Just... Oh, 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 oh. oh that's good shit. All right. A little bit of back and forth here. Really honestly feel Nuke General's got this. And I wonder how the Nuke General's going to handle the Tank General. Uh, that's going to be an interesting matchup if that's where that goes. Tank and Infantry, I kind of feel Infantry is going to win that one. Uh, infantry can crank out way more units. It has way more anti-vehicle potential. Uh, tank General can be really, really good with some Dragon Tank action if you rush. Treat it like the Black Hand in Command & Conquer 3. 
Rush in. Maximum damage. Maximum effort. See if you can make it stick. If you can, that's a victory on you. Black Lotus for the nuclear general. Or no. Hard to tell. Is it... Does she have like a red shirt? Yeah. Her armor pieces looked cyan. And I was like, oh, it's it's infantry general's Black Lotus. But that wasn't the case. A couple more new cannons. A lot of new cannons. I like the artillery aspect of this, but I would really hope that we would see some sort of unit diversity. Like someone complementing the new the new cannons. Yeah, see see these are the exact uh glitches I was talking about. Uh it fired. This one on the left fired. Undeployed move like half a meter redeployed. Like that, that animation takes some time. It takes some effort. Uh, barrage from infantry and also infantry reinforcements are arriving. And they didn't make the cut. Barrage on the internet center took it down to about half-life. Also binged up a couple of... hackers. Yeah, Not the best play, but... If you're gonna make a play, make a play, right? We have two nukes sitting in their silos, ready to be launched. And there we go, they both launch at the same time. And an artillery barrage on the way. Okay, not bad. Took out a lot of vehicles with that one. Good shot for infantry. I thought I saw a barrage somewhere. Two, two artillery shells, that's it? I wonder whose Lotus that is. Most likely infantry. And it doesn't matter anymore. Look at that. ECM tank is going to provide a little bit of countermeasure. To... Never mind. <laughs> I was like, those rockets are going to fire. And we're going to see what happens. See, so it's not really... Uh, disabling of rockets, but it just it just pushes them away. And this is actually giving all these vehicles prime opportunity to get some attacking in. Yep. That is a good combo. One or two ECM tanks, get something with a speaker tower on it so they can heal, and just let them buffer all the missile damage. To be absolutely honest, this victory, if it's gonna go to Nuclear General, hasn't been because of super weapons. I honestly feel it's been because proper unit composition, and by, when I mean proper, I mean proper enough for the AI, right? Kind of a deal. Definitely not proper as in, like, any good, but... Yep, this attack is going to quickly fall apart, but maybe they'll be able to get some damage in, power plant falls. Everything kind of falling apart there. MIGs for days. Unfortunately, they are just fragile as heck. Another nuke getting launched. I would land that, like, right here. Really hitting up that war factory. That one war factory is, like, the biggest pain ever for this guy. Well, whatever. Damage is damage, and it works all the same. You can see how this unit is walking real slow like it's because he's already damaged. It's a point I mentioned earlier. Uh, Command and Conquer versus StarCraft, WarCraft kind of thing. Two different ideologies of the same RTS concept. Uh, when a unit gets damaged in Command and Conquer, it becomes less effective. It moves slower, etc. But in, like, in StarCraft realm... A Marauder that has one hit point or full hit point still does the same damage with his, con uh, what are they, concussion grenades? That's a Nuke General Black Lotus right there. Not a lot of detection remaining. This is going to be a pretty open plate for Black Lotus to just all-you-can-eat buffet. Just dine, dine and dash. Okay, well that was stupid. Literally deployed right where all the enemies were at. And now there's no defenses left. 
What are we looking at money? 55,000, 2,000. Oh, this, these matches are kind of weird. Sometimes they're very, very one-sided money-wise, and sometimes they're fairly even. Um, it's really hard to replicate this and replicate it right. Even if even if I edited my own map, which I still don't even know how to do. Tore out 90% of the bullcrap. Like these little islands. They're cute for a human game. But for an AI game, it just adds to more difficulty in pathing. It would just be like a straight line shot. A to B, left to right. For these AI to fight. And that would be the ideal map. But then again, a map like that doesn't add a lot of flavor. It can kind of get really boring. So they'll take this gat out pretty narrowly, I think. Oh, well, with the Overlord and the MiG, I didn't know those were coming. But yeah, if, uh, Nuke General's really in mop-up mode now. There's not a lot that can be done or said here. I don't think a nuke is going to change the world, and there's no supply... For infantry, just these two oils. It's gonna produce a good amount of coin, but not enough, aside from the internet center. Did they pick up the isotope stabilization? They did! Okay, interesting. Again, not really an upgrade I would go for. If you find yourself with your tanks always very tightly connected to each other, like very tightly packed, maybe it makes a lot of sense, but I like to use my battle masters as, like I said, like makeshift bombs. Just rush in there, get a bunch of damage with the main gun, and then the secondary explosion kind of seals the deal. Uh, barrage coming from infantry. Where's that one going to land? Probably right here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thinned out a little bit of the hackers, yeah. 11, 10, 9, 8 seconds remaining for one nuke for each side. I don't know how infantry can pull this out right now. I don't know if it's even possible. Uh, actually, if it were me, and I knew what I saw, Black Lotus recapture up all this crap on the quick fast. Um, yeah. Get some money back in the back on the table. Artillery barrage right there from Nuke. Whoa. Okay, that dude is suborbital. Yep. Lots of stuff getting done here. Warning. Nuclear missile launch. Nuclear missile launch from each of them. I, I have no idea because that War Factory is gone. Not bad shot. Very good shot from infantry. That cleared out a ton of crap. Like, a, a lot of crap. That'll slow down Nuke for sure. Take him out of the game? Absolutely not. Slow down? Definitely so. Uh, there's actually nothing left here. If Nuke General took out both of the barracks, I think we'd see a surrender. Yep, just a little bit of damage here and there. The Nuke payload of the MiG doesn't deal a ton of damage to structures, but it is absolutely crazy fatal to any vehicles or infantry. Uh, not the Overlord. You need a couple of shots for the Overlord, but still to point... Get a lot of work done. Cinematic follow this guy. Ooh, I got it. What a shot. Yep, this is all just nickel and dime level stuff. Interesting push. Interesting game. What do we got here? EMP. Yep, EMP. I'm amazed I haven't seen any of the new carpet bombs. That's kind of bread and butter nuke general. And they just have not chosen that power. Warning. Nuclear missile launched. Where? Right here? 
Yeah. Yep. That is going to shut down the infantry general's ability to create units or anything. These infantry drops are always always fun to use offensively, but drop it here, cap up these oils, and then attack with them or something. That would really turn this game around economically for the infantry general, who is having a very difficult time trying to keep and keeping any of the lights on at all right now. There's another mine drop, I'm sure. Yeah, this is going to be the last attack from Nuke General. Oh, Black Lotus. Finally able to shine a little bit here. So this is another glitchy thing. The second she starts her hex, she can run away. That only works for the AI. That does not that doesn't work for humans. That does not work at all. It's a big load. She has to stay put and she has to finish her hacking. There's none of this, oh I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna start running, and it's all gonna work. But this is a really clean way to finish up the match, getting a black lotus on field. I see no defenses, a couple of infantry, and that's really about it. This is gonna be end end game. Very soon. See, this is what's supposed to happen. This. Has to stay there, complete the hack, and then it's over. None of this start, like, hit the enter key, run away while the laptop is doing all the work. That's not how that functions. Uh, are you gonna die from radiation? What's going on here? Yeah, that attack has been vicious. And because we're not fighting a stealth general, everything on the map is revealed. So this goes a lot quicker than a stealth general fight, and that's it. Nuclear general's gonna move on to the next bracket. You have been defeated. Oh, congratulations, Nuke General. Yeah, that's gonna move on. Uh, then we're going to face off Nuke versus Tank. And then, yeah, we'll continue on with the tournament there. So thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.